a freedom song poem by Marjorie Orude McGoy. Hello everyone. Today we are lucky to have the analysis of the poem A Freedom Song. The poem written by Marjorie Orude McGoy, the British poetess. The poem reads Atieno washes dishes, Atieno plucks the chicken, Atieno gets up early. Bets are sucks down in the kitchen. Atieno, eight years old. Atieno, yo. Since she is my sister's child, Atieno needs no pay. While she works, my wife can sit. Saving each sunny day, with her earnings, I support. Atieno, yo. Atieno, sly and jealous. Bad example to the kids, since she minds them like a schoolgirl. Wants their dresses, shoes, and beads. Atieno, ten years old. Atieno, yo. Now my wife was going to start. Atieno is less free. Don't I keep her? School my own ones. Pay the part union fee. All for progress. Aren't you grateful? Atieno yo. Visitors need much attention, especially when I work nights. That girl stays too long at market. Who will teach her what is right? Atieno rising 14. Atieno yo. Atieno's had a baby, so we know that she is bad. Fifty-fifth it may live to repeat the life she had, ending in a postpartum breeding. Atieno yo. Atieno soon repressed meat and sugar more than all she ate in such a narrow life. We are lavish it in her funeral. Atieno is going to glory. Atieno yo. Listeners, majority or the McGowan. The writer of this poem was born in Britain in 1928 and traveled to Kenya to work as a missionary in 1954. Marjorie Oruda McGoy met and married McGoy, an MD or med medical doctor, in 1960. This poem was written out of her experience out of her life experience in living among the Luo tribe, the tribe of her husband. Majori or the Makigoy criticizes negligence of nurturing children among African societies. The young Atieno suffers from poor upbringing, poor parental guidance, and the child labor, or what is termed as domestic slavery. She suffers at a tender age, at a small age. Without proper guidance, the young girl Atieno becomes pregnant, which leads to her death. So that is to say in this poem, it is a kind reminder that child labor and the poor parental guidance are very dangerous to the lives of young children, especially girls, who find themselves experiencing some dif difficulties in their lives because they find themselves being brought up by caregivers and not parents. Listeners, let us go back to verse by verse analysis, brief analysis or so brief explanation. Stanza 1 reads, Atieno washes dishes, Atieno packs the chicken, Atieno gets up early, beds are sucks down in the kitchen, Atieno 8 years old, Atieno yo. Stanza 1 is all about child labor. And the 
the poetess presents to us what Atiano in this poem suffers from and what Atiano does as a part of her domestic slavery. Atiano washes dishes. Atiano plus the chicken. Atiano gets up early. Bets her sucks down in the kitchen. This is humiliation. She bets sucks down in the in the kitchen while the uncle's children sleep on expensive mattresses. But Atiano sucks down. Bets her sucks down in the kitchen. This is quite humiliation. She washes dishes, she plucks the chicken, she gets up early, and she is eight years old in stanza one. And the stanza concludes with a refrain, a verse that is repeated at the end of each stanza. At the end of your stanza two. Since she is my sister's child, at the end it's no pay. So the first verse of stanza two is and evidence that someone who is talking this poem is Atieno's uncle. Atieno's maternal uncle. It is because he is Atieno's is Atieno's uncle. That is to say, Atieno's mother is the uncle's sister. While she works, my wife can sit. This is exploitation. Atieno works hard, but the uncle's wife is just sitting, doing what? Sewing each sunny day. With her earnings, they support Atieno. So that, that is to say, Atieno's uncle supports what Atieno is experiencing. He is supporting child labor. He is supporting domestic slavery. And he is favoring her wife because her wife is just sitting while Atieno seems to be very busy performing some home or domestic chores all the time, all the time. Atieno's lie and jealous. And this is the claim by Atieno's uncle that Atieno is sly and jealous. This is quite bad behavior claimed by Atieno's uncle and the, the uncle believes that Atieno is quite jealous and sly. Bad example to the kids. So that is to say Atieno, Atieno is not a role model to other children. She is rather a bad example to the kids. Are we sure that Atieno is really a bad example to the kids? Or it is just that what we call unfair uh, claims well let us continue since she minds them like a school girl wants their dresses shoes and beads that's to say atieno admires to be at school because her age allows her to be to school somewhere at school atieno ends up minding admiring school girls who pass around by wanting their dresses shoes and beads but remember, she is left at home, performing some home or domestic chores. Now, Atieno is 10 years old. Atieno, yo. <clears throat> My wife has gone to start. This is the uncle's wife who has gone to start. Atieno is less free. Don't I keep her? School my own ones. Atieno is now more busy. The uncle supports of keeping her somewhere at home but those who have right right to education are just uh, uh, the uncles uncles children so that is to say we get a theme of gender discrimination because the tiano is denied from right to education she is not sent to school regardless of the fact that her age allows her to be to school so it is sad when he the uncle continue, continues by saying, pay the part union, union fee. It is better the uncle pays the part union, union fee instead of sending Atieno to school or for progress. I'm too grateful. So that's to say Atieno's uncle does not care 
of Atieno's welfare. Atieno. The next stanza, visitors need much attention, especially when I work nights. That girl, referring to Atieno, stays too long at market. Now Atieno's behavior is changing gradually because she now stays too long at market. Remember, Atieno lacks what we call parental care and guidance. Now, she is experiencing bad behavior, spending time, too long time at market during night, night time. What is going to happen to her? Let us continue. Who will teach her what is right? This is a rhetorical question asked by the uncle himself. Who will teach her what is right? We know nobody is going to teach Atien what is right because she lacks parental care. No one is advising Atien on how to behave as a 14-year-old girl. Atieno yo. The next stanza, Atieno's had a baby. Now, Atieno is now having a baby. So we know that she is bad. She is in a bad condition. 50-50 it may live. So the life, the life of Atieno's baby is given 50-50 life to mean it can survive or not. To repeat the life she had, to repeat the life Atieno had before, ending in postpartum breeding. Now, Atieno experiences health problem. What is that health problem? It is postpartum breeding. Breeding after giving birth. Atieno experiences excessive breeding after giving birth. And probably this is what is going to take away Atieno's life. The last stanza reads, Atieno is soon repressed. Atieno is soon repressed. So this is uh, euphemism. Euphemism or an indirect, indirect statement. Instead of saying Atieno soon died. Now Atieno dies of postpartum breeding. Meat and sugar more than all. She ate in such a life. Meat and sugar more than all she ate in such a life were lavished in her funeral. So this is a vindication of the uncle's hypocrisy because on Atieno's day of departure or Atieno's death or Atieno's funeral, meat and sugar were brought more than all that Atieno ate in such a life. Why is Atieno taken care when she is gone? While when she was alive, she was oppressed, exploited, humiliated, and whatever. So it is an indicator of uh, hypocrisy. And this has been very common in the Swatu River because people are loved when they are, they are gone. So it is an advice or a moral part of this poem by the poetess that people should love others when they are still alive and not demonstrating kindness after someone has gone. Atieno is gone to glory. That is to say it is a euphemism for Atieno now. Atieno has died. Atieno. Yo. Listeners, the poem is about a young girl called Atieno who is mistreated by her own maternal uncle. By working without payment, she is not sent to, to school, she lacks parental guidance, thus, thus she eventually gets early pregnancy. As a result, she ends in death due to postpartum breeding. Who is speaking the poem? Someone who is speaking the, in this poem is Satieno's uncle. By an evidence pointed out by the poetess, since she is my sister's child.
Dear listeners, Atieno suffers from different problems in this poem. She suffers from torture or humiliations in the house of her maternal uncle. Her uncle tortures her psychologically by treating her badly as it is shown. Now my wife is going to start. Atieno is less free. Don't I keep her? School my own words. Pay the party union fee. All for progress. Aren't you grateful, Atieno? Atenayo. Listeners, what is the relationship between Ateno and the, the speaker? Listeners, the relationship between Ateno and the speaker, the, the, the persona, is that the personas. The persona is Atieno's maternal uncle, as it is said before. The poem comprises of seven stanzas, each with, with six verses of unequal lines, and a, a refrain Atieno Yo. Listeners, the poem comprises of musical features or sound devices, including alliteration, as it is indicated in the line 50-50, it may live, raise a consonant sound if, and they pay the part union you know, fee, the consonant sound if in this very, very verse. About diction in this poem, the choice and arrangement of words in the poem is well employed. That is to say, diction suits the context. And the poet has made the use of uh, vocabularies that actually uh, reflects child labor. Phrases like washing dishes, plucking the chicken, Getting up early in the morning, reflecting a theme of child labor. Literary devices or poetic devices use it. The first literary device used in this poem is the refrain. As it states at Yenoyo, it has been used for musical purpose and the emphasis on the message presented. But also, a rhetorical question has been used, who will teach her what is right? Poetic license has also been used. The poet has violated some grammatical rules to achieve a poetic effect. For example, in a verse, special when I work nights, instead of saying, special when I work at night. Simir is also employed by the poetess when she says she minds them like a schoolgirl. The repetition has also been used, 55th it may leave. The word fifth has been repeated mainly for giving emphasis. An offer has also been used, the repetition of, this, of the same word or phrase at the beginning of the consecutive lines or verses. For example, in stanza one, the Poeta says, Atieno washes dishes, Atieno plucks the chicken, Atieno gets up early. So the, the word Atieno has been repeated at, at the beginning of the consecutive or successive verses, mainly for emphasis and for musical results. Imager has also been used. Atieno plucks the, the, the chicken, bets a sucks down in the kitchen. So readers can imagine on a what Atieno actually does and how Atieno lives. Atieno is going to glory ending in the postpartum breeding. Here, here is also uh, an evidence for imagery. Now, listeners, what are the possible themes that readers can extract from this poem? The dominant theme is a theme of child labor, or to what is referred to as domestic slavery. Domestic slavery is experienced by Atieno who suffers child labor in 
au ni mateno anko Another theme is children's rights. So this poem is a clerical call regarding safeguarding children's rights. Majori or the Makigoy calls upon uh, children children's rights to defense by avoiding exercising child labor to innocent children. But also parents are reminded to take care of their children so as to avoid some repercussions or negative impacts that might occur to their innocent children. Another theme is poor parental care as it is shown. Atieno's parents seem to be uh, irresponsible because Atieno is taken care by her maternal uncle instead of her parents. But her parents are somewhere else living. They are living somewhere else but away from their uh, daughter. Eventually, Atieno experiences poor upbringing that results into child labor and a unexpected death. Exploitation and the oppression is another uh, theme that can be obtained from this from this poem. Despite the growing awareness of the violation of human rights, the world is still facing the problem of exploitation and oppression, especially to young girls, as it is shown in this poem, whereby it is not only exploitation but oppression that is faced by Atieno. Although she works and does all the domestic chores, she is not paid. She is not given any handsome care. The portrait suggests that she even admires to have dresses, shoes, beads of her cousins since she is not given one. Hypocrisy is also a theme to be treated under this cause. The uncle is portrayed as is portrayed as hypocritic because he pretends feeling sympathetic to Atieno, but actually he is the one who is exploiting her, so that is hypocrisy. Appearing kind when Atieno dies, while in the actual sense he was the one who used it to, to exploit Atieno. Poverty is also another theme, whereby in this poem, Atieno is, is portrayed as poor by referring to her life, her real life condition, as she beds her sucks down in the kitchen instead of sleeping on the mattress. Ignorance is also a possible thing that readers can obtain. Atieno is ignorant because she lacks education. And this, this actually tortures her life, her life because she lacks some proper morals at home. And this eventually results into airy pregnancy. Another theme in this, in this poem is a theme of airy pregnancy. Atieno conceives at the age of 14. So this is quite early pregnancy and this eventually results into problems to Atieno herself. Another theme is the denial of education as Atieno is denied from her right to education. Readers, I mean uh, dear listeners, readers can uh, Obtain lessons from this from this poem as well. Lesson number one: Every child has the right to have education. And in the poem, there is the denial of education. Air pregnancy is dangerous that it leads to death. We should fight against child labor because it is against child, ch children's rights. Is this poem relevant, relevant to what is happening today? It is quite relevant because child labor has been very common in the society we live because children suffer from this problem a lot and they have ended up 
dropping out from scores and you find some selling some sweets in the streets selling uh, bread granites and so on and when you ask them they tell you actually they, ha they have been sent by their parents I think that is quite disappointing thank you very much for maximum attention from the beginning of this poem analysis until this far end bye